How's it going everyone? My name is Matt and today we're going to be talking about the American Express Platinum Card. Now for better or for worse, this is probably the most talked about card in the credit card game. With so many benefits and credits offered on the card, it seems like a no-brainer, but is it worth the $6.95 annual fee? Well, let's walk through the credits and benefits that this card offers. After we do that, we can take a look at how to calculate the effective annual fee to see how much this card will actually cost us after we factor in the credits. Also, if you're interested in learning about six credit cards that offer a $0 or better effective annual fee, I made a video on this a few weeks ago and I'll link that down below. In 1984, hoping to take advantage of the growing travel boom, American Express released the Platinum Card as the new top dog in the Amex lineup. To date, the Platinum Card is still known as the go-to card for people looking for a premium travel credit card. But with a high annual fee, credits that are sometimes hard to use, and competition from other travel credit cards, it could be hard to justify adding this to your wallet. So let's dive into all that this card offers, and stick with me, it's a long list. Let's start with credits. Each year, you're going to receive a $200 credit towards hotels booked through the American Express Travel Portal. To receive this credit, all you need to do is book a hotel through the travel portal, then after the charge post, you'll receive a statement credit in a few days, if not sooner. Next, you're going to receive a $240 digital entertainment credit that's divided into $20 a month. This credit is eligible for Audible, the Disney Bundle, ESPN+, Hulu, Peacock, Sirius XM, and the New York Times. You're also going to receive a $155 statement credit for Walmart Plus, as well as a $200 Uber credit that's divided into $15 a month with a bonus in December giving you an extra $20. There is also a $200 airline credit that can be used for incidentals, in-flight refreshments, baggage fees, or change fees. Now, some people have reported having luck triggering this credit with the purchase of a seat upgrade under $200, or even some really cheap flights under $200. This is not an official use for the credit, so your mileage may vary on whether or not that credit is triggered from these purchases. Lastly, you're going to receive a $300 Equinox credit, a $100 SACS credit, a fee credit for TSA PreCheck or Global Entry, and a $189 Clear credit. Whew, that's a lot of credits. Now let's look at some of the benefits that this card offers. One of the main reasons people get this card is for the lounge access. With this card, you're going to have access to the Global Lounge Collection. That's going to give you access to the American Express Centurion Lounge, the Delta Sky Club, and a few others. You will also have global dining access through Resi to get last minute reservations at top end restaurants. You're also going to have access to the American Express Fine Hotels and Resorts Collection. This is a curated collection of hand-picked hotels by American Express. When you book one of these hotels, you're going to get a lot of perks such as room upgrades, $100 experience credit, and a few others. You're also going to get a lot of status with this card, Marriott, Bonvoy, Gold Status, Hilton, Gold Status, and Rental Car Status at Avis, Hertz, and National. You're also going to be receiving trip delay insurance, trip cancellation and interruption insurance, purchase protection, return protection, and cell phone protection. There are a few benefits that I did not mention, so be sure to check American Express's website to see the full list of benefits. This card is jam-packed with everything someone would need to travel. Now let's calculate the effective annual fee. Now I'm going to base this around what credits I can take use of, but go through the list and find the ones that you would use. Make sure not to fall into the trap of assuming you'll use one of the credits and so calculating that into the effective annual fee. Take for instance the Saks credit. I've never shopped at Saks before, so it's probably not a good one for me to include in the effective annual fee. All right, so let's start at the top. This card has an annual fee of $6.95. There's an additional $175 charge to add an authorized user. Since I'd be getting this card for my wife and I, I'm going to add that into the annual fee, making it $870 for me. Now let's go ahead and offset that annual fee with the credits that I can use. Now, in a calendar year, I would be able to make use of the $200 hotel credit, the $240 digital entertainment credit, and the $200 airline credit. That's gonna bring my effective annual fee down to $230. That's not too bad when you consider all the benefits that I mentioned earlier in this video. On top of that, the signup bonus is at least 100,000 membership rewards points. That's $1,000 towards travel right there. All of that together makes us a really tempting card. Now an alternative to this card that has similar lounge access and an arguable $0 effective annual fee is the Delta SkyMiles Reserve card. Now with this card, you're going to have access to the Delta Sky Club as well as the American Express Centurion Lounge. 
And one of the main benefits of this card is it has a companion certificate, which is what's bringing that effective annual fee down to zero. I think this card will eventually be in my wallet, but I'm not in any rush. Currently, I have the Delta Sky Miles Reserve business card, and with those overlapping benefits, I just don't see the need right now. But let me know what you think. Is the Platinum card worth $695? Is the Delta Sky Miles Reserve card an alternative to this card? Or is there another card that you think is the top premium travel credit card? That's all I have for you today. What do you guys think of the American Express Platinum card? Let me know down below. Also, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more travel tips and credit card reviews. Thanks for watching.